Hello and welcome to my comparison video of HLG versus VLOG L on the Panasonic G9. In this video I will explain how I expose these picture profiles, show you some sample footage and also explain my editing workflow. So first let's take a look at how to expose these profiles. For HLG I showed this in my last video. I set my zebras to 90% and expose to the right so that the highlights are not clipped. Now with the VLOG L upgrade you have also a waveform monitor to get the exposure right and you can use the waveform monitor in conjunction with the zebras or either of the tools alone. Exposing VLOG L is a bit different. You have to set your zebras to at least 80% or 75%. The pure white in VLOG L is about 80%. So when you use 80% zebras you may risk some clipping in your highlights. When you set your zebras to 75% you still have some headroom in the brightest areas. You also notice that the waveform is much more compressed as is the image which looks quite flat. You should use a uh, view assist in your camera to get a better understanding of how your final image will look like. Also with the LUT monitor display it's easier to manually focus because you have a contrast to your image and it's easier to see which parts are in focus and which are not. You can use the Panasonic LUT or any other LUT that is available for this picture profile. Now let's take a look at some sample footage. I will always show you the out of camera and the graded footage. I shot some clips outdoors, some indoors and even some in low light, ranging from 400 to 3200 ISO. One final note on the sample footage, I did not use any noise reduction in post. And now let's take a look at how I graded these images. In my last video I showed how to grade HLG footage using color space transform and then do some adjustment to color and brightness. But when I was testing uh, VLOG L and comparing it to HLG, I found that matching these two profiles is quite difficult when doing it manually. So I decided to try some color correction LUTs. After some research I bought the Leeming LUT pack. This pack includes correction LUTs for CineLike D, VLOG L and HLG. The workflow with the Leeming LUTs is pretty straightforward. I just drop the LUT to a node, add a second node and do the adjustments there. 
Usually after applying the liming LUT the image looks a bit too dark so you have to raise the midtones and the highlights back up to get a correctly exposed image. For VLOG L the workflow with the liming LUTs is pretty much the same. You just drop the LUT to a node, add a second node and do your adjustments to the brightness there. When you use the Panasonic LUT instead of the liming LUT and do the same process your skin tones get more to the red or magenta side and you have to correct this after applying the Panasonic LUT. I corrected this using the U versus U curves. You just create uh, some points on this line here around the area you want to correct and then drag down in the red area only a little bit to get rid of the red or magenta cast. So what do I think of these profiles? I think both picture profiles produce great images. The uh, dynamic range is about the same, but I think uh, HLG has a bit less noise in the shadows. But maybe uh, my post-processing is the reason for this, so I have to investigate this a bit further. I like HLG a bit more for this reason at the moment, so I will keep on using this. So that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. If you have any tips or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, then please hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.